and welcome back well this section here is the top of our cockpit coming down there now all I need to work on really is the top and the sides as well as this section here which is the inside just underneath there now all these parts here actually relate to this section but they're the parts which are more or less hidden so therefore I don't really need to work on these I don't need to stitch them together I don't really need to identify each individual piece except for placing it here in this group because when it comes to exporting this to Photoshop then again this will just have um, a swatch put over it and then a colour applied. So let's deselect that and let's move up over to here. Now this here is the cockpit area and as you can see it's like a box flattened out. We've got our base there, the sides here, the back and the front. And again here at the back you can see that not everything has been stitched it's been stitched along that section there but here well that would fit into there but if we did that it would cause a few complications so it's been left like that same in areas here now let's have a look at the front because there was something that needed to be sorted out into this area again these pieces fit along here but they don't really need stitching however what does need to be looked at is this section here let's just put that into vertices mode unselect that now as we can see here um, this is overlapping and it needs to be sorted out because this section here also fits into there but if we were to stitch that to that section it would completely hide the top section here so what we do what we have to do is actually rearrange this so very quickly what I'm going to do is just pop in here I'm going to grab these vertices there and then I'm going to grab these vertices down here pressing control let's just grab those that there that one there and these three down here now that they are selected I can drag this up and out of the way Okay, let's go into the line section now. I'm just going to grab that one there. I'm going to right click with my mouse and go stitch selected. And now it's stitched that into place. Actually, whilst we're on this subject, let me just undo that. A lot of people when they first start out get very frustrated with this stitch issue because what they see down here in our tool panel is this stitch. Stitch to source, stitch to average and stitch to target. Well let's say that this is the source and this is the target. So what that's saying is if we go stitch to source that section there has come down and stitched itself to here but not all of the object has done that it's just that section if we go undo now if we go stitch to target this section now stitches itself to that let's go undo and of course 
stitch to average the both meet in the middle let's just undo that and of course what I wanted it to do was for this section of the geometry to stitch itself in total to that section or at least not stitch itself in total but stitch itself at that point but bring the rest of it with it so that's why I go right click and I go into our quad menu and I say stitch selected and that's brought all of that piece of geometry along for the ride so to my mind this section here has a prominence which it doesn't really warrant okay let's go back to this um, need to sort it out now so now if I pop into vertex mode select these vertices here press control select those vertices down there and those down there now I can just bring them down and put them around there somewhere there and deselect let me just zoom out for a moment I'll have a quick look at this put it into edge mode I'll see where some of these pieces now fit so now I can see that they actually fit in there okay so let's select that one there now put that into select element mode uh, back thank you and on this one I'm gonna go stitch selected now, as you can see we had a bit of a problem there because it's gone there so what I'll do is go undo grab face let's select all of that and I'm just going to take that there and fit it into that position. It will probably be the same with this one down here. So let's select that one. And as you can see, that's where it fits. So just grab it, put it into position. Now it's not quite fitting in there, so up to the rotate. I'm going to press Alt in this instance and just rotate it move it into position there now the reason I'm spending a bit of time on this section here is because I actually want to introduce an image of the flight instrumentation in this section so it gets a little bit of a special treatment for there but that's that's good enough for that now okay so let's zoom out again as we can see that there now over here we have two sections and totally disjointed and they relate to if I just move that down bring these across let's bring that over now that should be left, this should be right so if I bring that over and I select all of that area I got it wrong I actually need to replace those no it is right in relation to the wing so I've selected all those and that is that piece of geometry down there again we don't have to stitch it together because it's going to be the same color all one color likewise with the one on this side and it is on the right side because this here is the top section and that there is the bottom section so as I'm looking at it it's on this side here let's now close that down and open this up a bit with the horizontal stabilizer or the rear wing 
all I've done is place the bottom section there first then the side sections top section and then the back section there um, pieces that needed to be stitched into position were those this one here and it's only stitched at that section there and the way to check if everything is okay is to select this and we should see the blue line coming along here so that we know that that now is one continuous seam and we can see it there along that section and along this section here so all that now kind of joins up on that actually very quickly with our aerial this is stitched together as well it's a cylinder so therefore you need to stitch it together pull out here in the back section the vertical stabilizer all I've done is stitch that section together stitch these little bits in places and this section here this section is the flat part there stitch these here and this here is where the rear wheel or it's a rear wheel housing and I've placed all that in the vertical alignment also the inside section again I've laid it out here but that's going to be a dark color because again it's just going to be a box a swatch covered over that and colored in what I do need to do actually is so this section out down here because I need to get that into there so let's select that bring it down into position there go for our rotate let's press alt and rotate it by single degrees about there and slot that into position deselect that okay now I do need to sort this part out here because again these are overlapping and it would cause a problem but that would be it point of interest we have options down here and it just shows bitmap options I very rarely use that very rarely but I find that you have more um, options to tools by looking at your quad menu here we can go in for if we want to break a stitch there target welding I sometimes use target welding and we can weld selections as well so we have our quad menu which I find a little bit more useful than some of these tools down here other sections you've got options you can go into preferences um, you can change your colors here if you wanted so worthwhile having a look in this section let's go cancel okay well mindful of the time we'll call that it for this session in the next session we're going to be saving this as a JPEG file I'll catch you later